Welcome back. This is Brian Belt with Ready, Set, Sold. Thanks so much for joining us again. Hey, we've gone through the updating, why it's so important to have those updates. And I want to kind of tie in a little bit with that. And that is the $5,000 tip of the week that will either help you get $5,000 more or hopefully save you $5,000 more on the sale of your home. And this has to do with pre-inspections. Many sellers may not be aware of it. Not that agents, not all agents do it. I'll be honest with you there. I think more should. But hopefully your agent has given you the opportunity to have a pre-inspection. And what that really means is, is that the buyer is going to have that inspection. But to get ahead of the game, to have that inspection before the buyer has their, inspe- uh, their inspection. And the reason for that is very simple. And I'll give you a kind of a case in point that just happened recently. Seller puts their house on the market. It's a fantastic house, beautiful house. They have it on the market three weeks. They get a great price. They're happy as they could be. They're they're moving. They're moving to Arkansas. It just so happened. And as soon as they got the offer, they went down to Arkansas and they put an offer on another home. And they said, okay, once this sells, we're going to buy this one. And then they had the home inspection done. And they had the home inspection. That's usually about seven to ten days later usually after you have the acceptance part and that again is can be very detailed in this situation what happened was they found water in the crawl space now there's four elements and only four elements that will knock you out that the seller has no recourse to and that is in a contract and that is the water found also if there is an environmental defect and meaning some something on that way termite or structural well this was water Now, it doesn't mean that every buyer will do this, but in this situation, guess what? The buyer walked away. That put a stop to everything. So now the sellers had to go ahead and get the thing fixed anyway. They were going to have to disclose it, so they went ahead and get it fixed. And they were going to do that anyway for the other buyer, but the buyer walked away. Long story short, over the period of time, because now it goes back on the market, buyers are kind of in perception of reality, what's going on. They took a hit of over $5,000 on the next pricing next offer and they also lost the house in arkansas because they wouldn't wait because of the timeline get a pre-inspection costs 500 dollars. you get everything done you get the termite you get the structural you get everything done before you put your house in the market it is so so easy to do again if your agent isn't telling you about it please please then start asking around you know get your own home inspection if you have to I've seen this happen with some minor structural thing, but if it's structural, they can walk. And I've seen it with termites. Same scenarios play out where the buyer literally just walked away. And when you have that situation, again, you're on the market longer period of time, very good chance you're not gonna get the same offer as you did the first time. So with that said, I wanna make sure that uh, you you get the the pre-inspection, save you a lot of pain, struggle, and time and money, and it's less than $500 in most situations. Doesn't mean it'll happen every time, but let's, you know, let's think ahead. Let's always be ahead of the game. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to be talking about what not to update in next week's segment. Make it a great day and make it a great week.